Hey gang, in this episode, the bestest episode ever of NSFW, we do the American Census. We also break Baratunde's heart. Aww. And we pants Arnold. Hooray! This all coming up on NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW, episode 20 for April 14th, 2010. Pantsing Arnold. It is it. This is it. I already screwed up the first line of the show. It's <laughs> NSFW, the new show full of wind. <laughs> the new songs for the Webernets. This is what happens when I don't actually have the music. I have to imagine it's playing behind me as it fades out. And we're joined, as always, by my inimitable co-hosts. First of all, Mr. Justin Robert Young, all the way from Florida. How are you, sir? Uh, I am. I'm really excited. It's good. It's like we are docking with the mothership for this episode. <laughs> we have all. We have all the twit. Uh, you know, logos and everything. You're sitting there in the plush chair. I'm just, I'm just waiting for, See, you know. You, uh, you describe it as docking with the mo- mothership. I prefer to think of it as like slowly making a Borg. You know, we're infecting one area of Twit a piece at a time. We're getting closer to the singularity is what I'm trying to say. Exactly. Also joined, well, like, we're, we're, singularity we're, we're, talk. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah that'll go over well. <laughs> that, of course, is Brett Rounceville, the Amtrekker, joining us from, uh, where are you now? You Are you down in Fresno? Yeah, I'm still in California. Missed you guys, though. I know. We missed you, too. If only we had gotten together for South by Southwest. Wouldn't that have been something? Uh, In some mystery universe, that would have been rad. But in the real world. In some sideways universe, that's right. But most importantly, we have suckered in none other than at Baratunde from The Onion hanging with us. I'm so thrilled you're able to play hooky from your actual gig and stay with us the whole show long. Can can I go now? Yeah, like, you just want to leave? They said I could go. You, no, you can. If you I, can, if you I start talking. The paper, and you, do, you bring the said, funny. You bring the funny now, Baratunde. Go. I'm really hungry. You can go when you bring the funny. I am really hungry. <laughs> Is it? Well, I use a phone. Welcome to uh, <laughs> NSFWPR. Good to be here. Hello, <laughs> Am Trekker and Justin. Your video audio, Justin, is supreme. It's like you're here. It's oh, awesome. I'll tell you what. I'm 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 really glad that you said that. Uh, I, you know this old thing. I'm glad somebody noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it really brings out your eyes. I it's funny because like whenever say. I meet Justin, like literally in my entire life, I've only met Justin in person like four times. Yeah. And when I do see him, I'm like, wow, you look weird. than screaming. I remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and of course, the chat room are staff writers, enjoyed as always by OMG Chad, my young ward. He took off the hat. You put that hat back on. You got to wear the funny like hat. The you wear the funny hat and you sit in that corner. Yeah, play. Do it, play. Put on the hat. I asked him earlier if his job description was like squire. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'd be down with squire. That, of course, is Colleen running the boards. Look, we've got no time to waste. We have an important government-sanctioned mission to get started on. Is that not true, Mr. Justin Robert Young? Ryan, uh, listen, there have been a lot of things said about this show, mostly by Danger Dane Golden. But one of the things that has never been said is that we are a clandestine organization sponsored and created by the government to derive information from the internet. Unfortunately, that is the only thing that is true. (laughs) We are, in fact, here to skim information from you, the entirety of the interwebs. Yes, folks, this episode, it is the NSFW census. I believe every word you just said. I completely am buying all of this. And by the way, this is the first, like, Amtrekker came in so last minute that uh, that he just jumped in. He's like, okay, apparently this is true now. <laughs> so I don't remember this? sanctioning any government, but if they sanctioned us, let's go for it. <laughs> you know, it's the polite thing to do. If they sanctioned sure. you, you no, got to no, sanction them. of course, them. Amtrekker, you didn't know anything about it. All right, so how does the census <laughs> work? Work? Let's just get started. Let's get right into the census. Boom, go to. Do you have a sound effect for the census? Tell me you got a sound effect for the census. Uh... Get on your bikes and ride! <laughs> <laughs> it's the census! Hooray! So that went well. <laughs> All right, so what's the first question of the census? What do we need to decide here? How does this go? All right, here's, here's how it goes, folks. Uh, number one, I'm going to start li- listing, uh, sorry, reading off the questions that uh, was provided to us by our government overlords, but also everybody in the chat room 
If you want to help us, the more information that we derive, obviously, the better our government can run uh, all if they, of the If they things. understand our true intentions, what they need to know, oh, you know what? I'm going to tie this all in. Okay. I'm going to tie this all Do in it. to Baratunde. Uh, Baratunde and I were discussing earlier whether or not the FCC should be running the internet. And now we're going to discuss should and, the government be and, well, 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 apparently, apparently like, they want to know what are the most important sites on the internet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to decide in a series of either or, you no. have to live without one of them forever. This is like, would you rather in reverse? Would you rather go without forever? Uh -huh. Dig or Reddit? Dig. Oh, dig. wow, that was fast. Yeah, <laughs> Justin. Now, why? Wait, hold on. Why dig? The users are dumber. Wow. Did you hear that? All right, there Kevin we go. Rose? All right. I mean, yeah, the I like Reddit. Reddit. He just steps in and the starts Reddit talking users noise. Are super smart. <laughs> so that's been, smart. Uh, chat room is uh, very turned. They're sideways on it. Half dig, <laughs> half Reddit. I'll tell you what. I would. I would rather live without Reddit because I've I've only gone there like two or three times. However, I've had a lot of fun gaming. Dig. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So, so I, I'm, I'm strongly on the side of yeah. Dig. Justin, what about you? Uh, I live without Reddit right. because uh, we never conned the CEO of Reddit into letting us completely make his product useless for a night <laughs> for our personal benefit. Amtrekker, you want to weigh in on this uh, one? Yeah, I think I have to go in the exact same direction as you guys. I've literally only signed on to Reddit once or twice, and I don't nearly know how to better use it to my advantage. Well, I believe that's a three to two majority, so I guess I Reddit is gone. Yeah. So there is. Uh, that was the end of Reddit. We just took care of that. Once the government takes right. care of it, there, once they get work. There we go. And that's <laughs> filed. All right, now here's the thing, folks. All this information is used for plenty of different things. Statutory rape laws, roads. <laughs> that um, was that the first thing? Where, no, where power lines are laid. Oh, this is all, guy. it all goes uh, together. Like the first so I just got really confused rape. again. Was Reddit statutorily raping someone? <laughs> or that's, that's just Justin. According to according to Justin. All right, so no, this is, this, is, this is how it works. I, I can't explain the heels of government. <laughs> this is not how it works. Okay, it's a very complicated <laughs> system. <laughs> All right, next question, Justin. What's on the agenda? Yeah. What did, what did, what did our, our supervisors at the FCC send to us? Uh, okay, the next one is Google or Bing. And uh, that is, of course, Bing, the Microsoft search engine. This is not the child-beating singer. Is there a child-beating singer what is, named Bing? What's in his head? Bing Crosby. <laughs> is, oh, Bing Crosby, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that dude day is horrified. He's like, what the hell is this what? show? He goes from statutory rape to child beating. Doesn't skip a beat. Like, not, it's literally, natural. There is not one person in the chat room saying Google. They're saying no, B-I-N-G-O. Google will hear them if they type it. That's why. And uh, Google yeah, look, exact there, revenge. I tell you what, let's just assume everyone's going to say Bing. Does anyone want to defend Bing? I'm looking uh, at no, Colleen. No, it would Colleen. make my iHeart Google would I tattoo defend look Bing? really embarrassing in the future. Hey, All right. Bing has I, real I, I really maps. like Bing's photos. I mean, it's really. true. You could get I mean, that on Google now. Oh, well, you know, uh, <laughs> who, needs, who needs a good search engine though. when you have amazing looking photos? By the way, there's some feature on Google where it's like you could add Vista backgrounds to it, and it happened to come out like right around April 1st, and I thought it was an April Fool's joke. Okay. Like they were digging on Bing yeah. for the ridiculous background photos, but apparently yeah. it's, it's a real thing. All right. I, I just want to say something, and for people who are listening to this, and obviously that's a, a large majority of the people who enjoy the NSFW program, so you can't see the silly hat that OMG Chad is wearing. But if you can go back to the shot of OMG Chad, yes. whenever he talks, I want to play this music. Hey, guys, I have an idea. <laughs> How about we all start using these? Yay! That was rather perfect. So there, there we go. There we okay, go. The, the Justin Bieber of NSFW. <laughs> oh, Justin Bieber of NSFW. Oh, no. You're done now. So I've got, I've got to say, though, are, do you actually even recognize the hat? That's to Justin. Oh, no, Robert that's, Young. yeah, no, that, that's the Firefly. It's the Jane hat. Okay, right? I'm just making that's sure right. that you've You're got Kansas, enough geek points to Jane. be on this show. All right. Shoot. Now, um, this one. A rep. Wow. Uh, Justin, I don't even want to say this next one. You, you read it. Okay. Something about children? Uh, this one is uh, cracked.com or uh, some uh, some website that I'm not incredibly familiar with, The Onion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you could so never go to one or the other again. I have a shocking response to this one. <laughs> Are you ready? And actually, the funny thing about this is that I know at least one of our panelists uh, confessed to me completely out of the blue that they are obsessed with crack. I love cracked. I love cracked. 
I, uh, I I actually now keep in mind. Here's the thing, and, mm-hmm. and I'm and I'm gonna. This is me rolling over instantly to Baratunde, the editor, web editor am, at theonion.com. Very special attention. <laughs> uh, I get the Onion delivered yeah. to me as a newspaper. Like to you me, you are a rare and privileged human. Oh no, and, and they're everywhere <laughs> uh, on the on the streets in Austin. I mean, right. like like the, it's the Austin Chronicle and, and the Onion. And I think the satire plays so much stronger when it's actually in the exact same medium as yeah. as what it's mocking. Yeah. And so as a result. I have not been to theonion.com in maybe five years. But meanwhile, what Cracked is doing, like Cracked was a fledgling, second-rate Mad Magazine ripoff, and then these new investors came in, and they essentially uh, rebranded it, and, and they, they do essentially what we do, have the chat room be our writers. Right. And, uh, and I really like what they're doing at Cracked.com. So, so forgive me, as I say, I would give up the onion. I- Justin. That just happened. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a <laughs> shot. Right to the face, Marquez. Oh, my God. Can Ryan. I get some more whiskey in here? <laughs> Whiskey. Well, I'm going to have to step in and agree for a, for one particular Holy reason. Holy shit. <laughs> for one particular reason. There is not enough. I want more from you guys. I want more videos. I want videos every single day. Oh, I take that and back. If, I do watch all the videos. No, no, but, you but just I said you haven't been to the other dot com oh, in five hey, years. Hey, hey, Your hey, testimony is locked. <laughs> this is a Senate confirmation <laughs> hearing, sir. And you realize, on pain of committing perjury, <laughs> well, if the you gentleman, wish to please submit restrain Brian Brushwood from attempting to speak again. <laughs> so it's one of those things where, I mean, it's if I'm going to be on a desert island and I have to choose between Cracked or The Onion, yeah. The Onion may be better in quality, but but regularity. insufficient quality. So you, you quantity. prefer quantity. volume over... No, I need volume. both. I'd rather eat like a both. giant turd sandwich than have a nibble of, no, of ice cream. No, no, no. They're both good, <laughs> but there's more of You'd it. rather watch one had to go, the entire series of Speed Racer <laughs> oh, no, than one three-hour block don't of bring Avatar. This up again. <laughs> Speaking of which, Amtrak, you're on the wow, chopping block now. Which one do you... You pick. You must choose forever. Crack.com uh, or well, the if, if Baratunde weren't here, I would unequivocally say that I absolutely 100% would go with Cracked because I waste days of my life on Crack.com. However, since he is here, I have to say it quieter. I would <laughs> absolutely unequivocally go with the Cracked.com. That's what you. Oh man. And I tell you, it's not fair because at two Amtrak. It's. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I, mean, and, I don't know same you, point, but same I point. Like... I love the Onion's videos, but I never watch them on Onion.com. You so get if the podcast, website's get, gone, and I'm still problem. getting those videos. In this case, the Onion has has two different medium that that is co- that is covering, and it's like you're not giving up the. Now I tell you, if I if it was giving up the medium, if it was giving up the Onion forever, then forget it. I, I would go. Wasn't I would, that the would, question? No, 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 no. Which site could you never go to again? Which website could you never go to again? Uh, and for so me, it's like what I'm, they're all saying is that since you are the web editor of the Onion, Baratune Day. Uh, they are more than happy to completely never see any of your work ever again. Well, they just want to oh, no, 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 toss it no, right no. into the ether, and it's, and that and it's 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 disrespectful. And I I I am on your side. I'm an onion man. I I, I cotton to the onion brand. I always have. And uh, I would I would throw crack. <laughs> Right into a fire for which it would subsequently die in. Well, here <laughs> is, um, here's here's my statement on this because time time is running short. Um, if the onion had feelings, they would be hurt. <laughs> uh, but the onion doesn't actually care, especially uh, about you. But you have feelings. You think. And so, in fact, this is all moot. And 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 I, and I appreciate you putting forth the energy to repeat the onion's website over and over again throughout the show, so people go there, dude. Uh, but. Uh, Tu stultus est. <laughs> you are done. <laughs> that is the motto of the onion, and those are my final words. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I ask you one question real quick? No, oh. I just had a big fucking... Oh. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Hey, by the way, you had a brilliant code to make the point and sum it all up. Can I ask you three or four more things? Can can I just say real quick, like like The Onion, uh, I will never, ever admire a publication more than after its two-week silence after September 11th when The Onion gave America permission to to make jokes again. It was disgusting after 9-11, the way everyone was like, well, we're doing the show, but we're not going to be funny. Oh, we're all sad. And then, like, full on the headline, what was it, like, holy effing? S on yeah, it was, was the headline all, after 9 that. Actually, my favorite headline from that paper was a really short piece. It says, nah, not knowing what else to do, uh, airy woman bakes, bakes American, a uh, cake. American flag pie. Yes. Yeah, it was uh, 
It, was, it really got right to the heart of the matter. It was the best reporting. All right, well, I know. Do you really have to run right now? I'll tell you what. All right, thank you so much, Barry Tunde, for hanging around. We do love the onion. Let us let us mock you. We love your face. That's. Hey, great to meet you guys. Good, Amtrak good virtually resistant. meeting you. Yeah. Baratunde. Um, and uh, stay orange. All right, you do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll dude, do what I, I can. love you, Baratunde. <laughs> that was so too. much fun, dude. Take Thank care. You Bye, Chad. See ya. All yes, right. Thanks. Thanks. See ya. Bye, Next Baratunde. Point of order. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Back uh, to hey, the Brian, business listen, at hand. When, when, when we write the book about how to do a great, hilarious comedy podcast, <laughs> we got to remember to include. Uh, bring up the actions immediately after 9-11. That's always a great comedic topic of what you did two weeks after 9-11. It's a laugher. Everybody gets oh, loose and just jokes about it. I mean, but uh, it, was, it was amazing when that happened. All right. By the way, that was really, a, that was really an unfortunate... What? What are you laughing at me? Were you laughing at 9-11? Is that really what's happening? No. No, 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 no. I'm laughing at you talking about how great it was. How great the yeah. Onion's actions were in the wake of 9-11. <laughs> Would you stop? Why are you, this is not supposed to be funny, dude. Why are you losing your stuff over this? I just, for some reason, the, the term in the wake of 9-11 has never been funnier right now. It's turned some kind of corner, and now it's just comedy gold. <laughs> So anyway, Brian, in the wake of 9-11, right. wah, wah. If, okay. So, all right, first of all, how, thank you, Justin. Thank you. First of all, how unfortunate is it that that was the question that happened right as Fairtune hit his heart out? <laughs> kind of wish we had just moved one question back just then. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's move along. The the government, uh, you know, uh, doesn't doesn't wait, uh, suffer fools gladly. So we're going to move on. This is going to be a little political. Uh, the Drudge Report or the Huffington Post? Like, has to go away forever? Yeah, you can't ever visit it ever again. Well, that is rough. That is rough because on the one hand, you have, like, in-depth investigative journalism. And on the other hand, you've got the Huffington Post. <laughs> Zing! No, that's not. Uh, <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> Uh, I, everyone, the chat room is saying both. They're just saying this. Uh, you know what's funny? It's like I forget the Drudge. I've never been to either. Well, and I forget that Drudge even exists. Yeah, why do, why until do we care? Uh, until like uh, uh, buddies of mine will open it and they're like, "Oh, there's one Drudge." I was like, "Oh, uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Drudge because because like th the advantage of Drudge, it's an aggregator, right? And it grabs random scoops and 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 wild accusations, and it's there first, yes. but eventually goes everywhere else. Whereas Huffington Post actually has long form journalism, and I, I actually do read those from time to time. So I'm going to say uh, give up, uh, give up Drudge, because I'll I'll hear it anyway. You know, as report as reported on Drudge. What do you say, Amtrak? It's just like giving up Dig. You've already read it on Reddit. That's oh, oh! oh no. I was no gonna, uh, no. For my side, I accidentally went to the Huffington Post one time when I clicked the link on Twitter, and I quite enjoyed the stolen video of the Daily Show that I watched. So I'm going to go Drudge. <laughs> Uh, to, and to be good, to be fair, they are they are still second to Gawker on that. Uh, of, of you know, really well placed and formatted stolen clips from the Daily Show and the Colbert Report. They are uh, they are really really good at that. Uh, I'm gonna have to say I've gone to Drudge maybe six times a day every day since I was 15. Really? So and, you're gonna go with Drudge over the Huffington Post? You'll never see another article on the Huffington Post. I don't really go there all that much, to be honest with you, like now. But Drudge Report is is absolutely a necessity to my That's game. where you need to get your random slander and your, your cutting <laughs> exactly. edge. Well, your cutting also, edge it's like there's just something about a website uh, you know, run by a right-leaning uh, gay native to Miami that really I just enjoy the way that he synthesizes the news. And when he gets really catty with, like, Nancy Pelosi and, like, finds every horrible picture of her, like, opening her mouth or, like, with Wait, half this, a is, this is who? Drudge? Drudge. Oh, okay. yeah. It is. He's, so, he's such and a cat. Without Drudge, he never would have known about the statutory raping Reddit logo. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are killing me. All right. So uh, TSS Olic wants to understand if what you're saying is you love Drudge for irony or something. No, I mean, I love Drudge because I just enjoy his point of view. I don't agree with it necessarily on all of it, but I enjoy the way that he looks at the news and decides what's important and what's not. And he also... There's a lot of people who work for newspapers that don't like, they get into fights with their editor and they leak stories to Drudge all the time. So you read a lot of stuff early. All right, let's do another one here. Um, 
I'm, I'm kind of hesitant to do the next two that you just wrote <laughs> <laughs> because you know I'm I'm by uh, I I I'm I was gonna say by coastal no 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 I, 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 dual, I have dual I have dual citizenship <laughs> is what I was gonna say with uh, Twit and Revision Three and I and I'm gonna recuse myself from picking one or the other but uh uh-uh, uh no 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 you have to pick you no. have to choose I can Brian, never- it's the census. Okay, we need to know this information I hate to you. run the government. I hate you, Justin Robert Young. I hate you so We're gonna much. We're going to be de-sanctioned. We don't get this done. I, uh, uh, I, I, uh, uh, uh retwitchin three. Well, number one, you have to say what it is. It's Twitter Vision 3. I think everybody kind of picked it up by what you said. I don't said, think it's going to be yeah. that hard because when you go... You have the tech guy right now where you can learn interesting things. And Revision 3 has interviewed Grant Hill. Oh, come on. You, that's a low blow. That's just some sports stuff. And now they've got, uh, they got the app judgment. I can't do it. I'm not, I will not go on record. I will, I will go to, to jail, You sir. have to pick. I will go to you jail. You have to be on Someone's got to take a stand. You take a stand against this kind of thing. And I'm going to be that guy. No, you can't, though. You have to pick. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, hey, OMG Chad, can we get OMG, yeah, OMG Chad? You, Chad you, you, says, the, uh, yeah, what's, what's your brilliant so what, what insight you, there? What, what do you, do you got? think? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Y'all didn't want to hear me on the other one. Oh, no, we want to hear you now. We want to hear you now. We want to hear you now. that Brian can't speak up. <laughs> well, guys, my idea is that we should all get together in a happy harmony. <laughs> Next one is buzz out louder this week in tech. <clears throat> oh, you can never hear one or the other again. And this is also buzz out loud has a lot of quantity, but it's good quality content all the time. Right. Well, and see, for me, I listen to buzz out loud because I work at Twit, so I hear Twit anyway. Right. Right. So, which one would you never listen to again? Well, and, and here's but here's the question though: Does that mean that you would never be able to hear? Like, you would it would affect her job? Well, you don't you don't really hang around sites, this week right? in tech anyway. You, right. Usually, you're out. But if I personally had to, I would rather never hear this week in tech because I get it. You live it all the time. Yeah, you that's live my it. boss talking. Yeah, it's of like course. okay. Yeah, but and you know Tom and Molly, Molly's nerd geek voice, pretty awesome. Yes, but if that meant that it went away, no, not a chance. Okay, so okay, much, so I'd I'd much, see, so you, I prefer you, you would Twit buzz overall. Out loud. Justin, what about you, bud? Uh, I would have to, with all apologies to our our friend. Uh, Tomas Marit, who does a great job on his show, uh, Beast Meets Mess. Wow. Um, I smell the Roger betrayal. Chang. I see the dagger sliding um, out. No, no, poison. listen. I mean, I, I think, I think Chief Meets Mess is a great show with Tomas Marit and Robert Chang. Of King but, Leo. Uh, no, I'd, I'd have to go with This Week in Tech. This Week in Tech. Obviously. Is, I mean, is, is what you would, you would keep. I would keep and, and buzz out loud as much as I like buzz out loud. I don't listen to it as much, so I don't have to say no. And right. Frankly, exactly. nobody can compete with Leo. Nobody can. He is. He's kind of the king of the podcast. He's king Leo. That's why we got. Uh... And even if even if I do get kind of you know, all right, I work for the guy. Sometimes I just need a break. Yeah, he's still the best. Yeah. What do you say, oh, Trekker? Yeah. You know what's really missing from this situation is uh, Tomas Marit. I. It's really uncomfortable having to tell the guy that his website sucks without him around. <laughs> like we with Baratunde, at least we got to like shove it in the you guy's really... face. And now with Tomas Marit, we have to go behind his First back. All, this just said isn't the right. Onion sucks. We all said we loved the Onion, but it's like I get it as a newspaper. Oh no, no, yeah, I I said that uh, I I really like the Onion. You said you thought it was horrible, and no, you can look not, back. That's not how I remember page. it. I clearly you know, remember said, it happening a I, different I think, way. Wait, uh, the chat room's pulling out the quote right now. It says something like uh, "9/11 is better than the Onion." Oh my I God, that, that is so oh, not what I said. Oh, good lord, yeah. oh. Chad. Let's good, hear from good Chad. Job, chat room. Chad, what do you think? Buzz out loud or this week in tech? Well, guys. There we go. Okay. Well, Buzz Out Loud has its 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 things that are good this weekend. Has to go. I love the way he was super cute. At the end, he grew like fangs and his eyes glowed red. I must go. So, hey, you know what, man? Can we talk about our sponsor? Um, so, do we, we have a sponsor? What, you hear that awkward pause, right? You know, you know what? Some people thought this episode was sponsor-free, but I prefer to think that we're sponsored by 
our own new website at name.autocomplete.com. Well, yes. Let's well, hear about oh my it, God. Justin R. Young. I want to make a big, huge shout out to Jim Jatho, who uh, has been working nonstop. Uh, he was burning the midnight oil last night. When me and Brian, uh, totally sober, called him to check up <laughs> on what was going on, um, like it was not a uh, an easy thing to do, and it's still a work in progress. But it looks like people are really digging it. If you like the name that autocomplete game that we played once on BB Live Show, it was the first ever NSFW show. You will love the home version that uh, you can play on any computer. But my favorite is if, if you can click on the badges, Colleen, and show off the badges we made. For the last two days, OMG Chad has been making all these achievements, Xbox 360-style achievements. And so we've got, like, for the, I guess, the King Leo badge is for the all-time highest percent of names correct. And it's got a King Leo on there. And we've got uh, the Odocta badge is on there. And uh, we've got a Tomas Marit, new champion woo badge. Mr. Happy Pants is on there full of win. Uh, it's it's strangely addictive. I was supposed to be doing prep work for this weekend tech today, and I full-on wasted a full hour trying to get my name back on the leaderboard. <laughs> Have you played it yet, uh, There Justin? we go. My, my favorite uh, is, uh, and you can see it, is the third from the left on the top uh, row there. The Butt Hurt Brian. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. If you mouse over <laughs> it, you can see the names for all of them. We got Butt Hurt Brian, the train wreck, Shooter McGavin, O Doctor, Tomas Marie Champion, Nostradamus, Full of Wind, Toddler Beating a Drum, and Am Trekking. Am Trekker has his own badge down there. Hey, yo. Yeah. We, we, we will be adding new badges, uh, you know, throughout uh, life, I guess. Uh, so <laughs> keep going back. That's a heck and, of a uh, deadline throughout, you know, life. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, I don't want to, you know, whatever. We're gonna, there's gonna be badges. There's gonna be a lot of badges. Be is there a dolphin, dolphin badge? There That's is what, a oh dolphin. Oh my god, the, we are on the, the same dolphin. Yes. Uh, uh, there is a Fapper the Dolphin badge. I believe it's hidden right now, but it's on its way. That's a very special one. Yeah, now, what, what would that be? What achievement would that be for, Brian? What uh, do you think? You know what? I, I hesitate to even conjecture about such a thing, John. <laughs> Justin, I was going to John. John? John. <laughs> John. John. Jonathan, <laughs> me and Robert Chang were talking to <laughs> Terry Maritz. <laughs> Terry Murray. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, at this point, we're going to turn it over to the chat room. From now on, this is consider this to be like a slow motion, I was going to say train wreck, but I guess a slow motion rapid fire where we want you guys to so, give us so agonizing really just decisions. Yeah, yeah. Well, so there we go. Throw them in the chat room. Uh, we will keep going through the ones that we that we already have uh, sent in from our government overlords. Uh, now, this is uh, interesting. This next, so, somebody put this, in there CNN or Valley Wag, which... I mean, I don't know. Is Valley Wag addictive if you're into that whole Silicon Valley? Valley, Valley Wag isn't Wag? even around anymore. It's not even around? I think no, that's probably a slam about the how CNN, instead of covering, like, the overtake of Bangkok, was covering Tiger Woods. Wow. Well, there's that. So, yeah, I think clearly I'd rather give up Valley Wag. I've never really read any of that. Yeah. What, yeah, what I, uh, I, I, don't, I don't have a problem giving Oh, up. how about this? Which would you rather... If, or I guess your, the rest of your life for the internet, would you rather eliminate anonymity 100% together all, all the way forever or make anonymity mandatory? Now, what would that mean, Justin? What would that imply? Uh, basically, it would mean that either everybody would have to write, you know, they had to take ownership for everything they did. So it'd be Justin Robert Young post this video to YouTube. Justin Robert Young is the one who's saying that your sweater looks awful on Facebook. Just Robert um, Young you know, says he doesn't like The Onion and it's a terrible website. That exactly, exactly. Uh, you, you would have to get a bone up or everything would be completely uh, just w without any kind of tag. Now, so like literally not, like so in the chat room, it would all just be a non and on and on and you'd have to start each sentence with, this is Brian saying blank. No, that's killing the rules. That's not anonymous anymore if he announces who he yeah. is. Oh, so nobody ever gets to know what... Uh, well, I say down with anonymity forever. I say, I say, yeah. everyone, you you have a verified ID for everything. I'm okay with that, or more you know. more okay with that than than everyone being anonymous on everything. Colleen, what do you say? She's pausing to think, as a sly smile creeps across her face, <laughs> and the shifty eyes, as she considers deeply the ramifications of her answer. I would rather people could have mandatory anonymity. Really? Now why really? is that? Because there is enough in this world that um, everybody knew, knows who you are 
and then there's lots of ramifications to everything you say. I like that there is a place where anyone can say anything. A place where nobody knows your name, and they never care that, that you came. That means that, like, like, the idea of credit is gone. Like, it would just, it would just be a lot of content on the internet that you cannot take credit for anything because everything's anonymous. Anybody could be anyone. I could say I'm Leo LaPorte. Precisely. And it, all right. You know who so, would win in that part are all those people who? teasing the Scientologists. They'd be, like, super excited that we're all anonymous. It's the only name on the Internet now because they're called anonymous. Go. See what I did there? I, I got you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, Justin, what about you? People or not uh, people? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate anonymity. I think uh, these, these cowards have had their day. <laughs> and uh, it's time that we all so for that, we all for the record, anyone at 4chan listening, Justin Robert Young just called all of anonymous <laughs> cowards and says he's not anonymous. He's Justin R Young on Twitter.com. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Ann Trekker? Uh, all in uh, all yeah, out. kill anonymity. Like the only time you see people anonymous on the web today is when they don't have anything to say or it's are on pet roulette. Yeah, well, that too, I guess. Well, they don't have anything to say either, but they do have some really serious actions to portray that they need other people to see. <laughs> All right, Chad, what do you say? Anonymous or not with your mouth full of whatever it is your stuff in your face full of over there? Well, um, I would say that an anonymity makes people come together and non-anonymity allows people to love each other. So maybe... We should all just love each other and. Uh, what the hell are you not saying? Are you drunk? I'm trying to make it sound as amazing as possible. That's what I'm trying to do. Did he just eat some meat? <laughs> that was another. Uh, that was another pearl of wisdom. Yeah, that's why uh, we've 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 stripped Chad of his meat virginity. Yep. And now he's uh, he's, Good Lord. he's eating now meat I all the time. Eat. Holy cow! Who's joining us in the room? Is that Mr. Danger Dane Golden? Oh, hey guys. Hey, how's it going, dude? Oh, why did you call me Danger Dane? Uh, just, uh, because it is D's, D's, D, well, we D, D, we have, we have nicknames D, for all of our friends, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's great to have you guys in studio, because I, uh, I really think you guys have a, a really funny show. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad, yeah. you, uh, you, <laughs> did, you didn't happen to hear last week's show, did you? Uh, well, uh, no, I don't get to listen to every show. You know, I got a lot of shows I'm listening to, but sometimes I, you know, I skim them usually. Okay. But. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so I, I haven't heard it yet. Is it good? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, it was kind it, of an off episode, to be honest. Yeah, it was Jay. fine. It was, you don't need to, you know. If you're going to skip one, I'll be the one to skip. You know, gosh, we've yeah. got so many shows now, I can't, I can't listen to everything. That's all right. We'll tell, we'll tell you when. Hope you're I tell not you, offended. How about this? How about this? Like, like when a show's like not so great, we won't waste your time, and I'll just let you know you can skip that one. All right. And then you know the when the really good ones where you need to see it, like like this one, yeah. Yeah, actually, I was just on a yeah. call, so I didn't actually hear most of the show, but I'm I'm here now. Oh, good. Oh no, that's great. That's great. We were I actually run in a second. But okay, no, it's great yeah, to see yeah, you guys. Oh, no, it's great to see you. Thank you, Dane. Thank you. Yay, yeah. Dane. I, I, I hope you enjoyed the show notes that I sent earlier. You did. Yeah, you Thank did. Thank you. All right. Which would you rather? Never be able to use the shift key, or never be able to use the delete key. Ooh. Easy. What, you say easy. What? Yeah, I'd never want to use the shift key. Real? Oh, yeah, because so, yeah, you want to be able to delete. Right. So Deleting so is far more be, important than you know, an, an emo live journal person no, forever? No, no question Just marks? All... Yeah, no, no question no marks. No question marks. No emoticons? You can't draw emoticons properly? I'm okay no, with that. No, ditch delete. That's why God invented Command X anyway. Oh, man, is that oh, a workaround? God. Oh, oh, yeah, hold on. No, 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 That's no. That's how I'll the live... M checker rolls. Loophole. Oh. <laughs> I will live without the backspace key. Oh, that's right. Oh, because Sorry, that's that the, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Delete and backspace are two different things. All so right. so I still got backspace. So you still could. But, man, how tedious. Every time you make a mistake to have to highlight and click drag. and Like, I would probably just become very verbose. Where every time I write something, I'd be like, you know, I'll say a mistake. I'm like, that last thing I wrote was actually not what I meant to write. <laughs> what I meant to say was X, Y, and Z. Oh, Can no, you no. imagine how annoying the internet would be if we had no delete? Like, it was just everything was just like, like oh, I don't know why I wrote that. That's you mean so no crazy. backspace. That's so <laughs> you mean no backspace. Whatever. The delete I mean, key deletes the, the other direction. Nobody uses it. shows with nerds. Because there's always going to be a workaround. It's like, well, well, what you are not taking into consideration is the fact that there should be a backspace key as well. And what I'm not taking into I consideration use, is the fact there, that I'm a Windows no backspace user. backspace on the Mac, though. It's all delete. All right, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Never again can you access either Facebook or Twitter. Easy. Who do you throw under the bus? Facebook. You say Facebook? I don't even have a Facebook account. Is that, well, Facebook. Is that, what do you got against Facebook? What would People's I gain faces from it? in a book? 
The, the name really seriously bothers me. Really? Is I find little... it completely <laughs> repulsive. Facebook? Like, uh, Just saying it, it's like, what? what is that? I don't know. Justin, what about you? Facebook or Twitter? Never again. Could you use it? Um, God, this is actually really, really hard because, like, the what I would actually use, like, for my real life, like, people that I, I don't, like, not, not my extended digital family, but, like, friends of mine that I've, you know, grown up with and stuff, I only communicate with them on Facebook. So I would really just be losing the element of social media that, which is kind of the you, know, you just described all the people I never want to speak to. Uh -huh. Well, just because you hate your life doesn't mean everyone oh, does. <laughs> No, I think she hates your life. She never wants to see <laughs> your friends again. I do not want to connect that. with all of your extended family. Yeah, that's just yeah. Silly, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I would probably still. Having even said that, I would throw Facebook under the bus just because I enjoy Twitter. Can I? Can I say more. this? Like, I literally have have made this decision because at some point you have to decide if you want Facebook to be useful as a tool for you to connect with your friends, or in other words, use Facebook the way it's intended, or. Do you want to use it as a platform to pretty much send your tweets? So as a result, like I say yes to everyone who wants to Facebook me, by the way, facebook.com slash would, and, uh, and then pretty much just use it as a way to put out uh, as to, I, I receive the emails, but it's like, I don't check, I don't, I don't pay attention to any invites or any clubs or any, anything like that. Oh, your point now, was yeah. I looking at the wrong camera the whole time? Yeah, it's fine. That's all right. I've switched the cameras on you three times so far. You're so good. It's... You're good is what well, you're Well, I need the sources. So I have chosen. I, I never, I mean, I go to Facebook to, to every so often approve everyone and to check my messages, but I do read all the responses that come back, but I treat it like extended Twitter, basically. What about you, Amtricker? <laughs> Yeah, that's about exactly how I treat Facebook. The only reason anyone ever thinks I'm on Facebook is because that's where my Twitters get sent. What about you, yeah. OMG Chad? Well, guys, <laughs> Facebook is really nice because you get to see people's photos. And Twitter is great because you always hear what they're thinking. But that being said, I really care about what is in people's minds. So... <laughs> So Facebook, go dine a fire. <laughs> uh, oh my God. What okay. the hell is going on? I, I don't know. I don't know. What's that, Justin? Uh, all right, here. Listen, everybody, if you want to uh, shoot your your questions down there in the chat room, let's uh, let's let's kind of go through uh, some of those. We'll do it and like as always. Fun. If you want to participate live instead of the Twit Live chat room, hang with us in the unfiltered chat room. That's usually what we're paying attention to. Somebody I really like the uh, Netflix a lot on the or mic. YouTube question that someone keeps shouting out. Which yeah, one? And, and in that same vein, you know, Torrents or or Hulu. You know. Oh, Hulu. I'd give up Torrents. Well, I. Now here's the thing. Though. Well, actually, that that's was that was torrents. one that was sent that's in music, by the government. I mean. Uh, yeah, but Here we go. that's, that's, that's what the government wants to, legal, to know. Uh, to view illegally posted video or audio, or to not be able to download any illegally hosted video uh, or audio via file sharing and torrent. Wait, you said le wait? They both say illegally. Did you mean legally on the first one and illegally? No, no, no. no. I meant streaming versus downloading for illegal. I meant, like, so Hulu. Oh no, no, Hulu would be legal. So it'd just be like. Uh, see, I think YouTube that's a more interesting video. question. I say, I say, never see an illegal. Like you, like never see any legal content again, and only watch illegal stuff. Which, in which case, you get the better stuff, but it's all harder to find. Or never see any illegal again, and you only watch the legal. Yeah, and there's not as much legal yet. Like, not everything is legal. What do you say, Justin? Uh, I'm waiting on you. Uh, I would, I would say, I would say, I'm, I'm going to go with the legal stuff. Just, I, I kind of rarely. Download torrents and stuff. Anyway, legal stuff is so easy. And yeah, nice. the legal stuff is so yeah. easy now. Yeah. Like, and, and with Hulu, like I don't want. I, don't, I actually don't mind waiting an extra day to watch Lost on Hulu. Rather I don't than care. Lost. But yeah. then after that one day, I can yeah. watch it anytime I want, well, anywhere for I want. A tight window of only two weeks, and then they that they that kind of yeah. sucks. Yeah. but I actually I'll I don't take know. That. Now, I'm, now all of a sudden I'm rethinking my position. On I'll this. take it that really versus sucks all the draconian stuff. <laughs> but it's you know downloading illegal stuff is actually it's like. It's a lot more complicated and a lot more time and time. It is. It is. It's a huge pain in the butt. I mean, that's the. I'm a giant fan of convenience because I'm lazy. 
But then, but then not everything. I mean, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm not hearing you correctly, Chad. You want to you want to start that again? I was having a hard time understanding you just then. Well, guys, <laughs> sometimes when you go and look at things on the internet, not everything is there. Like on Hulu, not every movie ever made is on Hulu. So sometimes you have to go and do illegal things, <laughs> like go to torrents. Sometimes that's considered bad news. I'm, I'm going to insist that that's how you address me from now on, forever, on stage oh or off. <laughs> Hey guys, Brian, you might want to take a left turn at this road. <laughs> That's how we get to our. Why does why does OMG Chad's innocent voice sound in, or innocent voice sound like a breathy hooker? <laughs> <laughs> hey Brian, would you like? No, I can't do it. That's enough. No. All right. Now, people, now it's creepy. Now a lot of people don't know that the government has actually been in their black ops division, the MK Ultra program, and all that. They've been working on. I mean, you know what I'm about to say, right, Colleen? Oh yeah. Time travel. Everyone they, knows that. Well, that's, and that's why. That's why they, because we're a democracy and they, they want a representative uh, republic, they want to know what we need to use our time travel capabilities for. And that's why they've asked us the following, Justin Robert Young. Yes, uh, this is just go ahead and assume that you've discovered a time tunnel and you are inclined to ignore all complications and alter history to your benefit. What's a time Do tunnel? Do you? Is it like a Stargate in a time, time? Yeah, well, there used to be a show before there was Stargate. There was Time Tunnel, which was pretty much Stargate. Okay, when was this made? Time Tunnel, 1960s. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty hilarious, actually. If you Google Time Tunnel, you'll see an awesome <laughs> picture of the prop. Yeah, there's, 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 there's a tunnel. You don't know where there's it's going to end. You walk down and you go back in time. So it's like That's Quantum Leap exactly. mixed with Stargate. It's it, it's pretty much just Quantum Gate. It's a time tunnel. Well, really, I mean, you, you could say that <laughs> Time Tunnel it carved out, you carve out Quantum Leap and Stargate since yeah. it came first. They, in fact, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, time Tunnel begat Quantum Leap and also separately hooked up with someone else and begat Stargate. Totally bang Stargate's Got it. And it was totally and it, bang totally, Stargate's mom. Totally half brothers. <laughs> I like that. All right, so, uh, all right, so, so here anyway, we go. We have uh, a time you, I like that you translated this into terms I can understand. Thank you. I'm glad I'm Whose glad mom we was getting that same page. <laughs> so, all right, so here's the deal. You're walking down. You're like, oh, man, I'm totally awesome. I'm going to go to the time tunnel. Um, do you either kill Hitler pre-Holocaust or save two American presidents from your choice? Uh, from assassination. Uh, can I consult Hitler's dice on this and see what they would <laughs> recommend that I do? Uh, you can, at Hitler's Dice on Twitter. Oh, my uh, God, somebody actually Hitler's made at Hitler's, Hitler's dice. dice on Twitter? Yes, Hitler's Dice is tweeting now. Oh, my God. Chat room <laughs> says, save JFK and Lincoln. I would save uh, Garfield and uh, who was the guy that died in 30 days? He wasn't assassinated, though. Harrison? Wait, yeah, yeah, Harrison. Assassinated I would go back by time and prevent you from buying this goddamn clock. Oh, you don't like that? That clock tweets as well. <laughs> the clock does tweet. It does it really tweet automatically? The or clock is, it... is everyone's favorite character on this network. Nobody cares about anything that goes on. They all just love the clock. They are obsessed no, with the clock. I'm, if the I'm, clock I'm moves, followed... they will not shut up until the clock comes back in the picture. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I am I am followed by both Leo's clock and Leo's pillow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if Hitler's dice is following me yet, which they should for as much guff as I took for, you know. Look at the chat room. Supporting for being with in clock. league with the Führers. Der Führers dice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm I mean, going to kill, kill Hitler. Is there anyone who seriously would not kill Hitler? I mean, I mean, that's like the default answer. Straight up numbers. Six, six million, well, right? No, why don't, well, we could also discuss <laughs> Stalin, Pol Pot. Well, no, he, they aren't on oh, the no, agenda. Oh, no, don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to get to them. By the way, I love the fact that I said, I think we could all agree we would kill Hitler, and Justin just burst out laughing. Like, that was the most <laughs> hilarious thing I ever could have said. Like, well, this is, all of a sudden, I flashed to, like, your gravestone, and that's what's on it. <laughs> but I think we I could, think all, we could agree all agree, agree we'd we would kill Hitler. Kill Hitler. <laughs> nice. What about prevent Hitler from being born, or get him accepted to art school? No, Ugh. Colleen, we, listen. Maybe we, if he got, got accepted to art school, he wouldn't have become a mass question. murderer. Yeah, we got to go by the census. You know, you can't, there's no space to write in. We all, it's Scamtron, and we have, we have a number two pencil. We have to fill in only one or the other. It's up to the internet. We got to work it out. There's no other, I can't be like, accept him to art school to prevent uh, you know, mass no, murder. No, you cannot accept Hitler into your heart like you want well, to. I mean, which I'm very really, shocked how you kill Hitler way. is really up to you. If you want to do it by PC, way of okay? accepting him okay. to art school. <laughs> All right, look, what's the next one? Next, all right, kill Hitler. All right, here go. we go. 
Uh, and we, we all agree we kill Hitler. Okay. Uh, would you either throw a peace sign in the background of the Tiananmen Square tank shot or do the rolling the dice motion uh, to the side of the sailor kissing the lady in the V <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about photobombing now? No, no, we're uh, talking yeah, about So you go back in time to be a jerk in a famous picture. Do you either... Just like you know, throwing throwing a peace sign. That would be the peace, back the the peace sign would be like would be like you know meaningful. You'd be like, I support peace. But the other would be like, this dude's getting some roll of the dice. Everyone <laughs> understands it's the roll of the dice. Come on. Yeah, no, I'm rolling the dice. Justin. Yeah. Uh, I'm, oh my God! Am I rolling the dice? In fact, I might. I <laughs> might go, right even now, though it's, it, it'd it. be weird that it <laughs> oh, may be weird in a still frame. I'm rolling two dice. <laughs> So That's I used to have a very mutation. good friend that may or may not have worked with me at Disneyland. And whenever he walked past people in the park with their video cameras on, he would randomly start telling stories like, yeah, and so all this blood in my stool, it turns out it came, it came from those keys I ate. <laughs> and uh, so with, the, with the hope being that these families are going to go home and watch their magical weekend at Disneyland. And all of a sudden, very loudly in the background, someone's talking about their bloody stool. <laughs> uh, OMG Chad? That's a tough decision. What do you say? <laughs> well, everyone, I really like peace. And so, is the music even playing? It is. I just okay, turned it down. Don't you worry okay, about it. Yeah, it's just man. so loud. You worry I turned about it down. the wisdom. Well, don't worry about peace the music. is good, but also rolling dice is fun. <laughs> I would go and roll dice for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my favorite part about this bit is that the music is getting funnier as Chad's improv skills are slowly degrading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has a weird compensatory effect, doesn't it? There we go. All right, so I think we're all rolling the dice on that one, so that is recorded. Do we either um, punch Stalin in the gut or spin kick Mao? Oh, dude. The nice thing about the spin kick, it's like, I don't know. It's like you're taking Chinese martial arts and you're throwing it back in the face of an evil dictatorship. But Stalin was a seriously bad dude. With yeah. you can see the eyes that he's making at me right now. Let me change the I'm, camera. Like I'm to trying to convince you. Like, like, like I'm acting like Colleen doesn't believe me. I'm like, no, I'm serious. <laughs> Stalin was not a nice guy. <laughs> not like as, not as nice. if she's gonna argue with you. Yeah, like, y'all, you know, Brian. <laughs> Uh, I would say spin kick just because it would be more fun to do a spin kick than to walk all suck, sucker punching him. He's like drinking vodka and slaughtering peasants. And then I just go, boom. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sucker punch Stalin. That will be more satisfying. Uh, now, here's the thing is with the sucker punch of Stalin, you have a more of a chance of a spit take. So if he's drinking the vodka <laughs> and then you go, pow, right in the bread basket. He's like, oh, America. <laughs> it's Soviet Russia. I get punched. <laughs> Amtrekker, what do you say? Uh, I think this all depends on whether or not there's going to be footage. Because if you're if you're getting footage of this, then I really want to see how bad A I look when I spin kick Mao in the face. <laughs> so that's a, that's like a, a an important distinction is that if you do right. you you have to like you can't clumsily do like a, a Star Wars kid move and then lazily barely graze his face. If for you it needs to be like a totally badass Bruce Lee thing, right? Right, and in fact, if it, if it is involving video, then it really doesn't matter if it's Stalin or Mao. It could have been Dumbo versus Pinocchio, and I would have still spin-kicked Pinocchio right in his stupid wooden nose. Oh, my nose. gosh. Holy cow, we actually have surprise guest right here on the show. It's, it's Mao Zedong right here. Let's give him to <laughs> OMG Chad. What are you going to do, OMG Thank Chad? You. Well, with this bag, I'm, I'm going to show it. Okay, oh, wait, no, it's, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Oh, well, with this bag, I'm going to show it to all my friends and get, and put cupcakes in it. And then, and then stars will fly out when I open it, and everyone will love me. All right. That's Wait, enough can, of that. can Chad spin kick the bag? Can you spin kick the bag? Uh, can you at least please up? try? Is, to I try. Uh, you know what? I think in the great list what of things I bag? want to try inside the Twit Cottage... Chad spin kicking around a gajillion dollars of photography yeah. equipment is not so much on that agenda. So I think we'll skip that actually. All right. At some point though, you have we have to get it up on YouTube or something. What him um, spin kicking? Somebody can render like a three D thing. Him spin kicking the Mao bag. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Here we go. Um, do you either pants Benedict Arnold <laughs> or put 
or put King George the Third's hand in warm water while he sleeps so he pees his sheets. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to be Pants Benedict Arnold because anytime you say pants anything, <laughs> it's got to be that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you just notice my uh, my Chinese communist hat I was wearing? And you got your uh, your so in Soviet Russia hat wears you. <laughs> Uh, I'm pantsing Benedict, Benedict Arnold, for sure, for sure. Are you? Okay. And what, what about you guys? My cowboy hat looks CGI. Like it, was, it, was it looks like a plug in. Uh, yeah, uh, what are you doing, man? You going to pants Benedict, Benedict Arnold? Oh, God, no. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get King George to, to take a little pee in his sheets. That'd be the, the best. Way, you don't want to have that psychological advantage <clears throat> from then I, on out. I'm not going to say... You, 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 I'm not going to say. Look across that table and be like, "Yo, I didn't pee my sheets. Pee sheets. What's up?" <laughs> It'll be so bad. It'll attack America. I'm not going to say that this that the census was maybe not real, but I am going to say that if it was not real, it's rather convenient that all the questions are written from clearly a pro-American agenda point of view. Are you wearing an onion on your head, Brad? No, Mark? no, f onions. I'm wearing a cracked on my head. <laughs> I'm glad Baratunde is not here for that. Uh, actually, it's um, a tomato cushion. So uh, that was fun. All right. So it, it, does anyone not want to... Uh, what about you, uh, Amtrekker? What are you doing? Pantsing or, or peeing? Uh, no, no, no. Definitely the pee in the sheets thing because that's, that's hilarious. Like, literally, that scars someone for life. And really, that's what it's about is uh, hurting someone, right? <laughs> hurting their feelings. Go. But imagine yeah. if was laughing at, at Benedict Arnold. And it would be great if it was before he betrayed him, because they'd be all like, yeah. why is he pantsing a great American? And then they come out and, and they're like, oh, it's that's actually why, why he betrayed him. It's oh, Brian shit. Brushwood's fault that's for the, going back the... in time and pantsing Benedict Arnold, and now we have the world's most famous traitor, all that's because the, of Brian Brushwood. That's the uh, M. Night Shyamalan twist at the end. What, what a twist. What a twist. Colleen, what are you doing? I, I'm lost. I don't even remember what the question was anymore. You can anymore. either dip King George's hand in warm water while he sleeps so he pees the bed, or you can pants Benedict Arnold. <laughs> oh, pants God. Benedict Arnold. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. That's what I thought. I'm not even going to ask um, OG Chad. Okay. Yeah, I, I would I would say the thing that you got to remember about pantsing Benedict Arnold is that, number one, that can be public. And number two, just imagine all the jokes once he does turn, and it's like, well, you know, I was there for the pantsing. It's not that big of a betrayal. <laughs> 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 Chapter was saying that I'd have to do it in winter. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, oh my gosh! All right, we have we have one final official question from the government. I want to thank everybody. <laughs> for... <laughs> that was not. Oh, we have dueling soundboard. <laughs> oh no! Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy? Leo? <laughs> I know. And he, these he are never own... timely. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what were you saying? Go ahead. Justin, you were talking. Uh, yeah. All right. So we have one. We have one last official question. If you guys want to get in uh, some other ones after this, uh, we, we can do that. But do you either write the lyrics and choreography to the chicken dance? Go ahead. Uh, you keep going. You want to keep? <laughs> you would write it's it. You, a, little, a little concert. All right. The choice, the choice are you. You write it. Got it. All right. So you either write the lyrics and choreography for the, for the chicken dance, uh, therefore stealing the thunder of the man who wrote it initially, or do you sell the music and lyrics for the twist to the chicken dance creator, Werner Thomas? Now I'm very disappointed in this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving the dueling soundboards here. A little taste of his own medicine, Mr. Justin Roberts Young. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so this is the totally wrong question because this does not mention pantsing either of them or assassinating them before they, the, 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 these songs were made. It's like, can you steal the lyrics of choreography for the kitchen, chicken yeah. dance and set them on fire? Is that an option? So, like, all right, so you're saying all it says is that you write the lyrics and choreography. What do you do after that? Is up to you. Oh well, then yeah, no. I would get lyrics and choreography for Chicken Dance, and then I would I would set them on fire. I mean, really, what we need to do to make this question funnier is ask whether what decision you would make in the wake of 9/11. <laughs> I think it's really where we can ramp this one into into the danger I zone think, of hilarity. 
I think this is a no-brainer. I would really love to write the lyrics and choreography to the chicken dance and literally have every hockey fan and Girl Scout on the planet worshiping at the idol of Brett. What? <laughs> is that a popular hey, thing? The chicken dance is popular at hockey games? Uh, yeah, I think it, it, it's, it's a popular baseball games, hockey games, any kind of stadium thing. Everybody just gets together and has a fun time. Now, what it doesn't say here is that you can write them and do the dance however you want. Like, let's say, yeah, like, oh. I can't believe I'm doing ah. this. I must roll the dice. Yeah. And like, I'm rolling the that dice. That and was I'm... part of it now. And I'm giving peace signs and I give you this. Uh, 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 uh. Right? What the heck yes. just happened? I you know that was on audio only for a lot of people, it. right? OMG Chad, what would you do? Um, hold on, hold on! <sighs> yeah, think about it. Okay, now we're ready. <laughs> well, guys, what I would do <laughs> in my perfect little world is that I would re- Wait, what the they were? It was rewriting the chicken dance and or something else. I forget, someone help me out. But the chicken dance would be great. <laughs> Uh, what, what about you, Colleen? <clears throat> I'm lost. What are we doing again? We're saving. We're saving Hitler's time machine. Okay. Hey. All right. Look, I say we turn it over to the chat room. It's time to go for this right here. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Chat anymore. room is giving us scenarios. We've got to give up one forever. It's all got to be internet based, and we're going to start taking the rapid fire slow motion. I don't know. Can you kick it over to the chat room right now? We'll see what our options are. Uh, all right, we have a Gizmodo or Engadget. I don't know. They're kind of six to one, half dozen of the other. To me. Yeah, I, I, don't I actually don't go to either of them very often, although I seem to remember hearing about more Engadget stories than Gizmodo. So I don't know. Uh, all right. Uh, people are saying um, uh, Schwad or Jerry. Uh, and I would go with Schwad there. I get rid of uh, get rid of Jerry. Wikipedia? <laughs> Or porn, <laughs> Wikipedia, or pornography. That's uh, this is this is a big thing. Wow. Because on one hand, I'm a huge fan of pornography. On the other hand, I wouldn't have got through college if it weren't for Wikipedia. <laughs> right. So, really, you used Wikipedia on how how much younger are you than me? Oh, uh, it was like Never. just starting, which was that, which was awesome. Because because it. nobody knew to protect against it. Nobody knew, uh, and all of a sudden it's like like wow, like. This crazy site sure seems to know a lot about you know, the legend of Romulus and Remus. Um, <laughs> Danger so, Dane yeah. or Safety Dane? Uh, I think, you know, look, we're big fans of Danger Dane Golden around here. I don't know where anyone got the idea that we weren't entirely thrilled with DD. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to agree with that one. I it just, was, uh, I don't know the song or how it goes, but I think it, it's something along the lines of, you can Dane if you want to, you can leave your friends behind, oh my but gosh, if you don't Dane it. I don't. I forget. I kind of want you to just keep going, dude. <laughs> I'm kind of really digging whatever it is you're di digging for yourself. <laughs> Somebody said like uh, Google or I, I missed the other one though. It was a really good one. It was um, I got nothing. CNET or Twit? If you could never go to one or the other, I'm gonna say I'd never I, go to CNET. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I used to go to CNET all the time for reviews, but lately there's enough other places on Google and it's aggregated. So I would say I would, I would give up CNET. Uh, Fat from uh, the Dolphin. We already gave Hitler's up Buzz dice. Out Loud. I don't think I can give up Tomas Marid altogether. We need a little piece of that guy around. Well, forecast so awesome. is not on CNET. Yeah, and neither is East Meets West. Yeah, yeah, mm. neither is eat, uh, eat, uh, meets, uh, Beats eat, Meets meet. Met. All right, met. I got a good one. I got a good one, all right? Now, this is one, this one I thought of. Would you lose forever? The physical ability to orgasm or access to the internet. You could never go on the internet again. The internet is far more important to me. Wow! <laughs> you can still um, make babies without orgasming, right? We, uh, sure, we'll say science makes that possible. Okay. But like, you derive no physical. I question ability. your manhood right now. No, no, no I, that was just a question. I wasn't at, I was I'm like, sorry, that I, was, that it's, did it's not very hard for me to understand you right now. Well, no, guys, sometimes <laughs> I really care about the. the the future of the human race. So I had to ask the question. It wasn't really me. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Snopes or Google? Because on the one hand, you can use other search engines, and that would be a minor inconvenience to use a different search engine forever. But on the other hand, like you could never go to Snopes again. All of that is is blacklisted for you. I think I would go with I would lose Google before my ability to go to Snopes. Are you high? Yeah. That is so weird. No, I don't think the only you, I think you reason I use Snopes is so that I can send you. an email back to my grandmother every time she sends me an email. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like I, apparently I've got a lot more family members that like to wrote me in to important messages about what my cell phone could be used for or what I should be afraid of. 
Like, it's like, Snopes is so vital because it's a third party. Be like, oh, hey, look at this article I found. What is that? You know what I just do, and I don't need Snopes anymore? I tell my father, I don't care about any chain messages. Never send me any of them or I'm blocking you. And it all went away. But you don't you don't wanna you don't wanna I educate them my... and fix them? What is it with old people where they sit at home and send chain messages well, because and their they email believe all everything day long. And, and it's novel and they're they're like, Oh well this is true and I can't. Just about ignore my them. Right yeah, um, imagine thing, yeah, if you yeah, got I, that I, I on a physical emails. letter though. And it was addressed to you and it came and it was like like, Oh, you need to send this on. You'd be like, Oh my god, how did they get my address? This has to be real. And you, you know, maybe take it a little bit more serious. That's why old people get freaked out by it. Yeah, see? Yeah. I told my grandmother that I absolutely, without a doubt, do not want any emails that ha that start with the letters FWD. And uh, her memory, not so great. Kind of a bummer. <laughs> What's FWD? Oh, forward. I got it. Like, forward, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, no, yes, I, I failed right there. Uh, so you could just apply a filter in Gmail. Somebody says, name that autocomplete or Farmville, please. I'd never see Farmville again. It'd be fine with me. Farmville die in a uh, chat room a says religion or farm. science. <laughs> Big gravity or Ustream? Um, uh, that's kind of tough. Uh, Ustream is pretty reliable, and you get more different things. I, I can only think of like three content providers that send out through Bit Gravity, right? Because it's like, and and they all have Ustream feeds as well. I think maybe I'm overthinking this. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, I, I upset someone. What? Colleen looks really unhappy right way? now. And Russian. A very unhappy Russian over there. <laughs> why, why the kind of person else... who just got done punching Stalin? Nobody <laughs> else is piping in on this. I, I, we need the rest of you. Well, isn't somebody isn't big gravity uh, kind of a, uh, like, you have to be It's a platform. A it's a platform yeah, 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 for, yeah. for, for streaming like, like content. Not yeah. everyone can join or... <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not, it's not like a clubhouse the way Justin TV or, gotcha, or okay. Ustream is. MySpace or yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I use Ustream on a far more regular basis than I do BitGravity, and I think BitGravity is cool, but I don't know. I don't well, yeah. use it as... Yeah, when we go live on a random, you know, 3 a.m. in the middle of South by Southwest, we don't set up a big, big gravity server. <laughs> 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 Apparently, oh, we really wait, offended Colleen with this. Apparently, she does not... Can, speak, speak. What are, what are no, we saying No, I can't wrong? speak. Why not? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, wait, why can't you speak? Well, I, I, clearly because she actually has an opinion one way or the other. And wait, we're big no, it's, goofballs. It's, just that, I'd, it's that I'd have to explain for like three hours yeah. all of my opinions. That's right. And, this is not this so way, fired not, so fast. This is not the time and the place for me. Anger. Uh, so I have a good one. Uh, Amazon or Audible.com? Like you could never you go could there never again? You could never go to either <gasps> Amazon or either Audible.com. Oh, my God. I'd that's find, a tough I'd one. Find, I'd find other places to buy stuff. I gotta have Audible. It's very, very convenient that Amazon, Amazon and Audible are the same sell. company, right? What's that? Amazon owns Audible, right? Do they? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's oh, true. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, but like, let's just assume that they're separate entities. Well, I mean, there are they're separate websites, and if you could never go to one or the other, I think I would give up Amazon too, because almost everything at Amazon I could get somewhere else. But like, Audible is Audible, right? Right. It's true. What, yeah, what's I'm, I'm, I'm down with you. Do they even have competition? Well, I mean, you, I, I wonder if you can buy it directly from, like, say, Random House. Or... Yeah, you can write Stephen King directly and ask him <laughs> yeah, for a copy and, of him <laughs> reading. Or you can go to TV. Benjamin Franklin's Gift to Piracy, the library. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I guess I guess Hobo Trekker knows all about that because you're always on the road. Uh, you, Hobo did you, Trekker? Did you use that? I, I freaking love the library because literally you can walk in there and just burn all of their discs to MP3 and walk out with it on your iPod, happy as a jaybird. Somebody asked, <clears throat> somebody asked uh, South by Southwest or CES. I think clearly, definitely. I mean, I would, I, I'd give up CES. I've never even been to CES. Was that, is that that great? You got a bunch of tech. Are you kidding stuff? me? Is, is it it's awesome? Like, it's like nerd porn. Yeah, well, you go there and it's just all the coolest stuff everywhere. Yeah, but South by Southwest. Has, <laughs> I, thought, yeah. I thought you were gonna say like, like you just go there and all the nerds are banging each other. <laughs> <laughs> I will not make any. Why did you think that's what she was going to say? Like, what, she said what nerd porn. That? <laughs> I thought that's what she meant was that they were all just. It's just all these beautiful gadgets are everywhere and they're looking all sultry. Yeah, under but it's this like nice look, light. South by Southwest is like the one event where all the nerds go and they get to feel freaking hip and cool and we crowd surf and we have we take over Stubbs Barbecue. The next like five days later at Stub Stubbs Barbecue after after we did our OMG Conan hoax, freaking Muse was on that stage doing who's the, Muse? Who's Muse? I don't even, what is it? Justin? G-E-T-F-O. Uh, 
Yeah, I know, they're really they're when popular it's, First off, it's in the South. Second off, you only say that because everyone comes to your hometown. That's a good point, Brad. Well, I mean, that meant, well. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. It's like that all the time. Oh, please. Ooh, touche. What is this? She makes, she makes a valid point. But here's the thing about Austin. They really like barbecuing meat. And I'm a fan yeah. of that. I was a fan of South by Southwest. I, so, yeah. I think I need to introduce you to Korean barbecue, the far superior. Korean barbecue is no, so I'm, good. I'm all about Korean barbecue. The most, I actually... It is the supreme yeah. form of all barbecue, especially when you go to a Korean barbecue restaurant and you just go and pick up all the raw meat that's been marinating and put it on your plate and go back to your table and cook it right there. And it's unlimited. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I love Korean barbecue as much as the next guy, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and side with good old fashioned American uh, BBQ. Rudy's. But and Meat when you go drunk. to a Korean barbecue place, you don't have a bunch of rednecks around there being like, "You got a pretty mouth." All right, James Cameron or Michael <laughs> well, Bay? Number one, number one. Oh, Michael this is Bay. Why I, I, you know, I have to keep up with my family on Facebook. You know. All right, those, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I love Michael Bay. Michael Bay. Dude, wait, you would choose Michael Bay over James Cameron any day? Oh my God, are you insane? I love Michael Bay movies. You also loved freaking Modern Warfare, Warfare Two, which yeah, is a Michael Bay movie in a exactly. game. Exactly, that's exactly why I love it. Made no sense. Totally under. It's not the supposed story. to make sense. Don't. It's supposed to be like I am awesome. Oh, but did you <laughs> like the fact that Mac Mass Effect Two made sense? Yes. Well, then what's so wrong with games making sense and have a good story? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying Michael Bay is fantastic. Uh, I accept no it for way. what it is. No I don't way. go James to a Michael Cameron, Bay James movie Cameron, for James meaning. Cameron. It's got to be James Cameron. What about you guys? Peanut gallery. Uh, Cameron me. Cameron? Amtrekker? Cameron for me. Make my I really, I really like that Got Milk commercial with Aaron Burr. Raymond Burr. Br Br Aaron what's Burr? What's <laughs> Aaron Burr? Historical Wait, now, that? <laughs> they did the Aaron yeah, Burr thing? Totally. That's yeah, and how can you not love that? Not know that. I remember, yeah. I remember that. But James Cameron. Made I would Titanic. watch that over Avatar yeah. any day. You cannot forgive men for such things as Titanic. I was in middle school, and that Celine Dion song was popular. Yeah. I will never forgive that man. Yeah. I can't. I can understand your frustration. Uh, one, <laughs> Brian's remember. dolphin slip or Leo's chat roulette slip. <laughs> Uh, I would so say wait, wait, that's an interesting one. So, which one would we want erased from the record? I would, I would, I would much rather right. my my dolphin slip uh, be totally erased. Uh, I would, I would too. But just my, mine is more so that Leo's stays because yeah. I think if Leo's screwing up and putting a dong on Twit, then it just gives all of us more breathing room. That's what I'm saying. That's that's kind of where I'm at. All right, look, hey man, we're we're we got right at an hour. Do you guys want to wrap things up with plugs here? The last room for the chat room to throw us anything to us for the census. Um, How about, uh, yeah, people are saying uh, Spielberg or Lucas. Um, Lucas. I'm, I'm gonna go out and say it was. Oh God, it's hard. What, what's the choice, like, Luke, Lucas or what? Let's, let's pretend you're not Jewish for a moment. <laughs> you see, let's you. pretend. Yeah. What was yeah, the, what the choices, let's... Lucas or what? Or Spielberg. 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 You got to dude. Oh, dude, dude. No, Star, no, no, no. Wars. Ax <coughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. Lucas. I will never, ever what? forgive him for betraying my childhood. But he made our childhoods. I, it, 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 you know what? He, uh, Lucas fell ass backwards into the Star Wars franchise. He got lucky with the first movie. The second movie was on total mental holiday. He outsourced the writing to Irvin Kirshner. He out outsourced, uh, I'm sorry, he outsourced the writing to Lawrence Kasdan, the directing to Irvin Kirshner. And the best movie of the whole series was, was created. All he wanted to do was make toys. Then he decided to get his mitts back on for the third movie, and he gave us the Ewoks. That was his contribution. He's like, now nah, we need Ewoks. Which, by the way, they don't even say the name Ewoks. It just shows up in the middle of the the toys is why it exists there. Every time he touches it, he makes it worse. And I'll never forgive him for that. <laughs> and that's wow. fine, but there Star so Wars is awesome. All Star oh, Wars is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, that was for Brian, not for you, Colleen. That was, that was collateral damage. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love Star Wars. Star Wars made my childhood. And, and if we had no Star Wars... There's no point yeah. in living. No Star Wars. Star Wars no. had yeah, no yeah, impact I'm, on my childhood. But you know what did have impact on my childhood? Indiana freaking Jones. Oh, yeah. I dressed up as Indiana Jones for Halloween, and people were very confused. If it came down to that, then I would have to say... See you tomorrow, Indiana Jones. Oh, really? I, I, I have Indiana Star Jones Wars and... over Indy. 
strangely, this is retarded now. Strangely, I'm actually getting more excited about the Star Wars universe with the possibility of of Star Wars: The Old Republic, the MMO coming from Bioware because they just knocked it Anything out of the park. Anything with Bioware is usually pretty Bioware's good. Bioware's batting a thousand. They're like Bethesda. Uh, they're not like Bethesda. Dude, they're come much on. better than Bethesda. No, Bethesda was great with Fallout Three. Fallout Three was kind of. Right. Uh, I, I think we're the this, this conversation is over. We're gonna take this outside. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, look, let's wrap things uh, up here, but let's do the plugs. Amtrekker, where can people find you, sir? Uh, just look for me at, at Amtrekker on the Twitters, A-M-T-R-E-K-K-E-R, and I'll let you know where to go from there. And uh, just Robert Young? Uh, well, first, I would like to remind everybody that NameThatAutocomplete.com uh, is up and running. Big thanks to Jim Jathos and James Thompson, who helped design it uh, on really, really, really short notice. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so proud about what they did. Go out, check it out, waste a whole ton of time because it's a fun thing to do. As for me, weirdthings.com. Uh, we are kind of revamping what, what we're doing with the site. You're going to see a lot more posts on there. Uh, hit me up, I'll tell you what, or hit up Weird Things, uh, Weird Things Com on Twitter if uh, you know you like what we're doing or you don't like what we're doing or you want to help uh, write. You know, We are taking uh, submissions for people who uh, want to help out with the site. So email me, justinrobertyoung at gmail.com if you're interested in that. And Justin R. Young on Twitter is my Twitter. I love you. All right, OMG Chad, where can people hear about you? Well, you. I, I'm sorry, it's very hard to hear you. Oh, I'm, hey, well, I'm sorry, go ahead, yes. Well, guys, you can find me at omgchad.com or you can go to YouTube and it's YouTube slash CrazyDude07 with a K and two Z. Do you got do you got something you wanna you wanna plug, Colleen? Twitter.com slash digital kitty. That's right. And I'm uh, at Schwood on Twitter, Twitter.com slash at, at Schwood. And I could actually use a little bit of a boost in the people because I got some stuff coming up, but I can't say what. And it all makes sense later. But until then, that's it for this episode of NSFW. We'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs>